<laughs> Doing really well considering um, they've not played amputee football before. Getting used to moving on the crutches and, and striking the ball is, yeah. was a challenge early on, but um, you know they're getting better and better every day. They're very keen and you know enthusiastic and uh, want to learn, you know, uh, which is great. You know, it makes my job a lot easier. We've been working today on on movement and trying to get them in the right position so they can receive the ball. You know, so that's going to be the biggest challenge. We need to really strengthen their upper body as well, you know, as, a, as, a, as a single limb as well. You know, so they they'll need to work on that really. You know, once. They get a little bit stronger and they practice more on the crutches, then the, the striking of the ball will be a lot better. I want you to have your arms bent, your elbows bent, okay? Be on your toes ready so you can move, so you can move, okay? If you stood up right like that, okay, your first movement is to bend your arms, okay? So if you've bent your arms already, you've saved yourself some time, okay? And you're ready to receive the ball, okay? And be on your toes, be on your toes. Be ready to move, okay? Don't just be stood up there like that, having a sleep. Okay? What I want us to work on now, okay? Every time the ball is played, everybody needs to be moving. Everybody, don't just stand on your crutches like this, hoping the ball's gonna come to you, okay? Move on your crutches and make it easy for the person on the ball to pass to you. Yeah, I mean, we, we did a similar project in Ghana a few years ago and, uh, you know, they they now have a, a league in Ghana. You know, I think they've got the determination to do it, you know, because uh, it's it's great for them, really. You know, hey, no crutches! The, the mental well-being, you know, and uh, getting out, getting exercise, you know, that would be great for them, really. And, you know, if they progress, they'll, they could have a chance of playing for the country, you know, because there is an African Championships now for amputee football, so uh, it's... It'd okay. be a good motivation James for them, the something for them to James James definitely the got an attitude to, to want to work and try hard, kind of thing, you know. So that's half the battle, really, you know. So hopefully, they you know, they'll they'll keep it going, and uh, we'll see them uh, World Cups in the future. We play seven aside um, on a smaller pitch, uh, 70 metres by 50 metres. Uh, no offsides. Um, you kick the ball in from the side instead of throwing it in. Um, you're not allowed to touch the ball with your crutches, that's handball. Um, you're not allowed to tackle with the crutches, you know, that's a foul as well. Um, and apart from that, it's pretty much the same. But all the outfield players are single leg amputees playing on the crutches and the goalkeeper is a single arm amputee. Uh, and he has to stay in his goal area, he's not allowed out. Two times, 25 minutes for yeah, each half, uh, 10 minute break out time. And then you can have a timeout as well. Within the, within the game, one time up for half.